world. Our next guest joins us from CES, where she says that the defining theme of this year is AI everywhere and in everything. And it's getting better at anticipating your needs and making your life easier. Wendy Sheehan Donnell, who is the PC Mag editor in chief, joins me now. Wendy, great to have you on the program with us with the backdrop of CES there. Why do you think that this is the definitive thesis statement for CES this year? So happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yes, I have CES behind me, and it's so exciting because, yes, AI is everywhere and in everything, which was sort of the, the the, the theme of CES last year, but it's a lot bigger and better this year. So you've also highlighted three key ways that artificial intelligence will more often than not, and most certainly is expected to influence some of the major products that consumers are gonna be buying into over these next several years here and might actually be put into consumers' homes here. So what are you anticipating there? Absolutely. Um, so we're going to see a lot of AI in your home. Uh, Samsung, for example, I saw yesterday is showing uh, an oven that basically has cameras and AI and uses it to see what's in the oven, helps you create recipes. A camera in the oven lets you see how your food is cooking, create a time lapse video of what you're cooking so you can post it on social media. Um, High Sense revealed the smart refrigerator that uh, basically has a camera inside. And I don't know if your refrigerator is anything like mine, but it's very messy in there. But the camera uses AI to determine what's in there to create a shopping list for you and menus. Really exciting. One of the more fun things we saw yesterday was a, a robot vacuum from Roborock, which robot vacuums are very smart with AI now already. Um, but this one has an arm that will, if it sees a sock or a small toy in front of it, the arm will pop up and pick it up and you can program it to put it away for you and then it continues cleaning your house the way that it would have. So smart home all over the house. Sounds like our um, refrigerators have a lot in common, Wendy, and uh, we're looking for a lot of these <laughs> smart products for sure here. As you're thinking about some of these smart products, the price point, does it seem like we're getting any clear indication about how much this is gonna cost consumers for these innovations? Yeah, I mean, at CES, you, almost nothing comes with a price at CES, right? Because it's really early on. Some of these things will come out this year, and we'll be reviewing them on PCMag.com, and we'll have pricing, and we'll evaluate that in our in our reviews. But a lot of stuff is just here to show you how cool and exciting it is and not to tell you how much it costs. But I will say, as AI, you know, chips and AI gets more prevalent and chips get cheaper, you know, things get less expensive. I'm, I'm not going to say that, that that fridge or oven are going to be that cheap, though, honestly. With all of this in mind, beauty and health tech has really taken more of the kind of viral, uh, viral moment or the virality at some of the years past CES. Have there been any of those key moments that you've seen uh, really be talked about either on the exhibition floor or among some of the executives there? Yeah, like the show's floor is not even open yet. It opens today at 10, but we've seen, had a lot of uh, pre uh, press briefings and saw a really cool um, fitness mirror from a company called Wythings. So you stand in front of the mirror, it's got sensors, it uh, sort of sees what's going on in your body and tells you about your lung health, your heart health, how you're eating, how your general fitness is. And then it uses AI to sort of talk to you and give you plans, uh, health plans. And also they see it as like, you know, your doctor could eventually hook into this and help you, you know, assess your health without having to go to the doctor. That was pretty cool. And another cool thing I saw yesterday from L'Oreal, which is, uh, you know, a middle-aged woman like me, kind of an interesting, interesting thing. It basically, it, it's a system that takes, it takes a swab, takes cells from your cheek skin, your, uh, your skin on your cheeks, and tells you the, the sort of health of your skin and the products that you could use to um, make your skin less aged. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. I, I might be a buyer of some of these things. Wendy, <laughs> appreciate the early preview here. And of course, we're going to be checking back in with some of the updates from our own reporter out there at CES as well. Wendy, thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Certainly.